today. I'm going to get ready for work. I've got to go and have a shower. I've got some crazy bedhead. But it is so hot in England right now. Um, it's probably about, oh, it's got to be at least 25 degrees right now. And it's just going to get hotter through the day. We got to like 32 yesterday, which was insane. We never have heat like that in England. It was really nice, but just not quite used to it when I go to bed. Um, and I have really poor airflow in my bedroom. And oh, God, I have to sleep with like a wet towel on my feet just to like cool me down. Um, April's not here at the moment. She's gone to Birmingham to go and see her dad. Um, but I'm going to hop into the shower and then um, I'll be back. I've got dressed for work. This is my uniform. Wear like a polo with some um, some worker jeans. I guess we could call them. They're not quite jeans. They're more like cargo pants. Cargo pants is a good thing. Um, I've got my hair in a like ponytail at the moment. Uh, it's not going to stay that way. I basically pull it in so I can pull it out, and it makes my hair easier to slick back. Um, a little trick for you guys if you didn't know that. Um, I'm going to make my breakfast and my lunch for today right now. So I've got everything prepared. I've got my my rice, which I've just boiled the kettle, as you've just seen, to go in there. Um, I've got my Josh Forman grill, which I'm going to cook my chicken on. Um, and then I've got my blender um, tub, which I'm going to make my smoothie in, which is going to be my breakfast. Ooh, or better than a shake like that. If you wanna drink it, you taste good, you look good, let me put you in my body. This is the best part of the morning, this is where you've done most things and you can't do anything else so you just have to wait for it to be done, which is great. Especially when you have like an hour to get ready and it's, it's horrible. Because I live just down the road from my work so, you know, I can't even be late. And my stepmom's my boss, which is even worse because she tells me off if I'm late. Um, but I'm going to drink my tea, which is a lemon and... Lemon peach or something, or lemon and grapefruit tea. It tastes really, really nice. Um, also, I've been thinking about getting an aquarium. So I went to the shop the other day um, and I got this book and it kind of tells you how you should set up your aquarium and what needs to be in there. Um, it's really cool stuff. I really want to get some of these clown fish. I want to get a, like a little mini aquarium. Now I have like a fish tank over there, which I do like. But it's not a marine aquarium, it's an, it's a, a tropical aquarium. Um, and I did went and bought sand for it and I thought, oh yeah, I'll have another tropical aquarium. But now I've decided that I want a marine one because I think they're more colourful and pretty and just generally look a little bit nicer visually. So I'm going to get one of them. Um, I should be getting that over the next couple of months though because they're really expensive. Like the tank alone is like two, three hundred because you've got to get all specialised equipment. And then the fishes are like £15. But it's the corals. Oh my gosh. I, I went and looked at the corals. And the corals were like £45. I was like, ah. Oh. They look awesome though. They're like Some of them are like luminous green. And they look amazing. But £45 is a lot of money for a plant. Um, but yeah, I'm going to watch some TV now. Uh, while my rice spoils. I'm going to watch uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Because I've like got a massive like like craving almost for it um, it's so good as a show if you haven't seen it it's about like some law students who basically um, it starts off with them killing someone and then the whole series kind of builds up to how that like escalated into that um, and how they're gonna get out you guys can check out my hard helmet look at this this is this is what I have to wear on site this is this is often how I look I'm dr. hair and I and I'm here to fix what's wrong with your hair condition. Oh, is that this? I'm going blind in one eye now because of this hair. It's horrible. Um, maybe if you guys want to see some of my books, I've got some books on my desk. Um, most of them are just concept books, but I have um, Art of Dark Watch, Bioshock Infants, Art, uh, Face Fashion, which is this really good book that teaches you how to draw like. Like fashion models and stuff. Odd World Inhabitants, this is like my favourite game ever. And it's the concept art book is amazing. Because it's all like traditional art. Um, 
that's the art of naughty dog so it covers like crash bandicoot and uncharted and stuff like that and the artwork's absolutely beautiful in it pokemon cards so um a few years ago uh joe got me all he got me a load of the original comic book uh, the original pokemon cards i keep saying comic book but like yeah these are all awesome um i've got some missing because i've got to complete the collection but he just bought me loads of booster packs of like um the first generation but the second edition cards which are really expensive they're like for a whole booster box you're looking at like 50 quid and he just lit, gave me them he was like open them he even got me some first edition cards which i think are these ones these ones in the front they're all like the original original cards so they're actually worth quite a bit just them on their own which is like it's just amazing sometimes the things what um, Joe does um, present wise. Not Joey, before everyone gets confused, because Joey's, um, Joey's the ginger nut. The show's just so good, sorry. But like you've got to watch it. If you haven't seen it, and obviously I know it's a bit hard because series are a bit dry at the moment because we're all waiting for Game of Thrones next month. Because um, Walking Dead was a bit pooey. I stopped watching the series um, halfway through the new series because I just found it a bit boring. But this series is so good, I definitely recommend watching it. It's just on your edge of your seat, like, intensity all the time. And, like, you just don't expect who kills people. You're like, what? How did they do that? Like, why would you do that? But anyway, I'm going to put my food in my bag, and then I'm going to head off walking to work. What's up, guys? I'm back from work now. Um, I'm kind of back in my, my uh, sort of normal video stance. Um, how are you guys feeling about the vlogs? Do you, do you like them? Well, this is the first one, but how do you feel about it? Is it is it like, would you want to watch more of these? Um, I've just finished work and I've just gone shopping with April. We've just gonna bought a load of food for the week. Uh, we've got like beef and chicken and um, beans and cheese and potatoes and just basically everything we need to survive on a budget because we have like zero grande money until the end of the month. But you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Um, I've got something really cool with me, uh, my loot crate. Uh, this came today and I don't actually know the theme of it, but it'll be really awesome to find out what the theme is. I kind of like not knowing what the theme is. I've been subscribed to Loot Crate for a couple of months now and you get some really cool stuff with them. Um, you usually get a t-shirt every month. Well, you do get a t-shirt every month and then you get some sort of like cool item and some less cooler items, some like little knickknacks. Um, and if any of you guys want to know what's in the Loot Crate, basically you can, you can see. By the way, this isn't sponsored. Um, I just find Loot Crate really awesome because it's kind of like my geeky side unleashed in one box. So I thought I'd show you guys what's in it. First things first is the t-shirt um, and it is a Transformers one. I've got uh, Optimus Prime who's like transforming from his uh, his big truck into Optimus Prime. That's pretty awesome. The t-shirts are really nice as well by the way um, if you're wondering like the quality of the t-shirts. They're like you know what you'd get from a general t-shirt store. Um, or if you were buying like a proper like, I don't know, like themed one, um, they're really decent and really comfortable. In fact, April nicks a lot of them to wear to bed because they're so comfortable and because I'm a little bit bigger than her, they actually kind of like fit her like a dress, which is quite amusing. <laughs> From the second item, I can see that this is probably like a superhero themed one because it's a Spider-Man. Um, they keep giving me these figures, they're called Q-Figs. Um, I don't know, I've got a few of these so far. I've got Rocket Raccoon um, and Groot, who's sitting on his head. It looks so awesome. It's like little baby Groot. Um, I've got Jessica Jones, which is awesome because she's like kicking through a wall. I haven't actually watched the series of Jessica Jones, but I hear it's really good. So I'm gonna, I might give that a watch on Netflix next. Um, and then I've got Doctor Strange, who's awesome. And now I've got Spider-Man, who's like my favorite superhero of all time. He's so cool, alongside Spawn. The next thing is a Hulk bowl, which is awesome. It's just, I think it's just a green bowl. Actually, I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a, it's a green bowl with the Hulk's hand on it, which is nice. That's pretty cool. You could just like be like, I am Hulk. Just eating your cereal in the mornings. Like, yeah, I'm ready with my, my special K cereal. Yeah, by the way, I got green hand on it. It kind of looks like Frankenstein's hand more than it looks like the Hulk. The next item is a poster collection of all the new 52 DC comics, which is pretty awesome. I can't, I really do like comic book artwork, so this is like the, the amazing thing for me. I like, I prefer having the comics, but some of the artwork in comic books is insane. Like, look, check that out. Someone would have hand drawn that on like digitally, and that's amazing. I'm gonna go spend some time with April because 
I haven't seen her all weekend and I've literally got back from work and gone shopping with her and I, I miss her a little bit and we're gonna have a little bit of a snuggle and probably watch a film or something um, but guys did you did you like the vlog today did you like the content I tried to make it as entertaining as possible but I'm kind of getting my bearings with it because I'm used to like sitting in front of the camera doing something funny that sort of thing um, but I kind of like doing this because this is this is more more natural I think and it's more to my personality traits um, I'm gonna have some crumpets and I'm gonna say love peace and chicken grease I would do the love heart but I don't want to drop my camera as this is my DSLR so um, that would be scary <laughs> to break it to be honest um, yeah I'm gonna say love peace and chicken grease I'll see you next time thank you for watching